how flex numbers are found. The flex of a pole is found by hanging the pole at two certain points on either end of the pole. With a tape measure on the wall, someone measures the lowest sagging point in the pole. 5.2. A 15 pound weight is hung from the middle of the pole and that lowest sagging point is measured. 25.1. The difference between the first number and the second number is the pole's flex number for that pole. On average, 1.0 in flex is roughly five pounds. 0.2 in flex is roughly one pound. Now that we know how to flex poles and how a pole is actually flexed, there's one giant problem. Every pole manufacturer flexes their poles differently. A 14 foot 15.0 on one brand of pole might be drastically different from a 14 15.0 on a different brand. Imagine a vaulter thinking he or she is on one pole but it's 10 pounds stiffer because it's a different brand. If you use the same poles like UCS, Giller, Essex, this usually isn't an issue, but that's rarely the case with high school or pole.